How's it going everyone? Today we are joined by AFYZ who is going to talk about daily protraction profiles. So let's get started with the video. Thanks again to T-Trace for having me on the channel. So I'll start with a bit about myself. I'm an ICT index futures trader who's been trading for around three years. I discovered ICT during that 2022 YouTube mentorship. And before then I was actually in school for a lot of years, like seven, studying engineering and business. And I actually had a job in strategy consulting. It was through that YouTube mentorship that I actually got to discover other guys like T Trades, AM Trades, and the MXM Trader, all of which who I uh, heavily studied, who gave me a lot of understanding of some of these concepts. So it's kind of awesome to come full circle and be able to be on this channel with T Trades. So thank you again. So what I'm going to do today is teach you a little bit about how I utilize market maker models in context of daily profiles. That's kind of my bread and butter strategy for trading the index futures. And I specifically focus on trading NASDAQ and ES during the New York session. Oftentimes, I'll favor trading NASDAQ over the ES simply because it's more volatile and I believe it offers more large range expansions due to that volatility. So let's touch on the topic of today, which is going to be daily protraction profiles or manipulation templates. Our aim when studying these daily protraction profiles is to understand the session dynamics of Asia, London, and New York to ultimately determine where and when the high or the low of the day is made. For every bullish candle, we can say that there is an open, low, high, and a close. And if we can position ourselves within the wick of the low, or we understand where that low is made, we have a high probability chance to align ourselves with the expansion of the daily candle. So to make it simple, protraction is studying the manipulation of the day in hopes of inferring when the expansion can occur and which session that expansion can occur in. There's three topics I want to touch on, which are going to be these power of three templates or PO3 profiles the rules of engagement for our protraction profiles, and then again, bringing it back to the market maker model context, which we will use during the New York session to actually take trades. So let's talk about these three profiles. The three profiles of interest are going to be first, classic protraction, second, delayed protraction, and the third, which is a void profile of manipulation, which is called a Judas swing. A classic protraction occurs when London forms the low of the day and then expands higher. A delayed protraction occurs when we get the low of the day forming right before the New York session. And then a void profile or a Judas swing looks like an Asian and London accumulation followed by a manipulation of the range in New York and then an expansion. So let's touch on all three in a bit more detail to better understand how we can actually utilize these profiles. So what is classic protraction? Classic protraction, also known as a classic buy or sell day, is the best, I believe, form of profile to start trading with. And the reason why I think it is such a great profile to understand is that this offers a New York continuation profile. And in this New York continuation, what we can see is that the low of the day is formed right in between the London Open and the New York Open, meaning we have the low in a key level being formed before an expansion in London, a retracement in New York, and then a secondary expansion right throughout the session. In terms of a power of three development, that looks something like an Asian accumulation, a manipulation either in the London session or right before the London session, 2 a.m. to 5 a.m., and then a continuation of that expansion in the New York session after that first displacement is made in London. How we can actually structurally frame this is that we are looking to see where this low of the day might be made, and we're looking to find arguments that would justify that low staying intact. We're going to use the context of PD arrays like swing lows and fair value gaps or swing highs and fair value gaps to justify that that low of the day has been made and then pair that with market structure and delivery states to make a claim about which protraction profile we're in. So here's just a general schematic of what that looks like. The second profile, which is going to be a delayed protraction, is actually a New York reversal profile. So that power of three development looks something like an Asian accumulation 
followed by a London manipulation, lower or higher, right into that New York session. So what we'll often find is that in contrast to a classic protraction, a delayed protraction sees New York reversing the direction of that London move towards the higher time frame draw on liquidity. So that's where our manipulation occurs right before the New York Open. Oftentimes, you'll see this paired with news drivers during the New York session, such as at 8.30, as you can see in this schematic, where between 3 a.m. and 8.30 a.m., we descend or chop lower or higher into our higher time frame key level, our area of reversal, before then reversing and expanding against that London move towards that higher time frame draw on liquidity and those London highs. The final profile of interest is going to be our Judas swing. Our Judas swing is when we see an Asian and London accumulation, meaning we fail to manipulate that daily range in two sessions, thus not forming that low of the day yet. When we see this type of profile, what we can anticipate is for New York to run out the lows of Asia and or London before eventually reversing to the higher time frame draw on liquidity. In this Judas swing setup, that's where we get used to seeing those V-shaped recoveries in the market, which I'll point out kind of when we get into the charts with some examples. So let's actually hop onto the charts for a second and take a look at all three of our protraction profiles to see if we can put some chart evidence behind these schematics. So let's start off with a classic protraction, which is a New York continuation profile. As you can see, I've done I made the liberty of annotating this chart already, but we can see here that the higher time frame order flow upon reaching this key level is bullish on the higher time frame, okay? We've tagged a daily imbalance in here, and in the session, we have come in and we've swept out these Tokyo lows. Most importantly, you can see that Tokyo accumulated London manipulated into this four hour swing low inside of this higher time frame daily fair value gap, right? Before expanding higher. We can also see that we had an SMT divergence with our ES at these London lows, followed by a change in the state of delivery, which is a closure through the consecutive series of down close candles into our key level with SMT. So when we think of that power of three profile, we can say that Asia accumulated, London manipulated, and then expanded. So New York does not have to come back into this low. This is the low of the day. So what we are anticipating is if we had a daily candle that looks something like this, for the wick that is formed in London to act as our low of the day and the internal dynamics of price to do something like this, right? We want to see New York retrace and then continue to expand, forming the high and the close of the daily candle. So when we look at that and we pair that together, all we have to do now is involve ourselves in a retracement of order flow in the New York session. As you can see in here, we have a 30 minute and we have a one hour fair value gap internal range of liquidity. And from that internal range of liquidity, we can position ourselves to trade the next expansion leg higher, eventually running out the draw on liquidity or the original consolidation of this market maker buy model, right? These buy stops that rest up here. So this is a good example of a classic protraction where London forms the low of the day. And then we get a two phase expansion, eventually culminating, right? With the buy stops being taken the next day, I believe. Let's play that out and see when that happens. There we go. And we have to trade in the direction of this draw on liquidity, utilizing a PD array of interest. Understanding that this low of the day is going to be a protected area of price given that open low high close dynamic. So now let's jump into a second example which is going to be a delayed protraction or a delayed manipulation of this daily candle wick. So as you can see in this case, we have the Asian accumulation 
followed by London moving slightly higher and then continuing to accumulate before descending between late London and the New York Open into our key level. So our key level, again, is a daily fair value gap with an SMT with the S&P. So as you can see, as price delays its manipulation into this key level, we have a smart money reversal followed by a change in state of delivery, ultimately targeting once again the buy stops that rest at the London highs. And of course, any higher time frame draw on liquidity above market price. In this example, you can see the clear distinction between a classic protraction and a delayed protraction is that this wick is formed into the New York session, followed by a reversal of order flow from that low. As the low was made, we then reverse against the price action of London to eventually target those highs and the higher time frame draw on liquidity. In comparison to our classic protraction where we can see that the daily candle low had already been made in the London session through a manipulation into our key level and all New York did was retrace into an area of fair value before making another expansion leg higher, right? Just the clear distinction we have between those two protraction profiles. The final profile of interest is going to be our Judas swing. So a Judas swing is characterized by two sessions of clear accumulation that fail to manipulate the daily range. When we are considering the opening low high close or opening high low close dynamics of a candle, what we have to remember is that when we are forming this manipulation wick, there needs to be a key level that is engaged that can qualify this as the high or the low of the day. So in the case of bearish distribution lower on this day, what we can notice is that there actually was no meaningful manipulation of a higher time frame key level to form the high of the day. And so what we see on the open is that New York runs out these London and Asian highs in the form of an SMT with the ES before eventually distributing lower. So that is when we have a power of three or manipulation profile that looks like an open followed by an accumulation, a Judas swing, which is running the highs of the New York or of the London and Asian session, followed by a distribution of price lower. What's important to recognize is that when we have a Judas swing, we expect New York to engage these stop losses and then reverse against order flow, meaning that a fair value gap or an inefficiency in market price like this is not anticipated to support price higher. We would not expect to see price trade into this range and then expand higher. We're in fact fading this initial move higher as the form of a Judas swing and a V-shaped recovery as you notice. So that's a very important distinction with our third protraction profile. So those are the three daily templates I tend to use. And as you can see, when we pair them with concepts like market maker models and also weekly profiles, as AM Trades has come on the channel and talk about multiple times, we get a really strong understanding and powerful understanding of how these daily candles are forming their lows and highs. Once we can combine that with the appropriate structure and state of delivery, we have a good understanding of what New York may do based on the information offered in the previous two sessions. So each morning when I come to the charts, what I will first do is I will look back and study the prior two sessions to understand which of the daily templates I believe we are likely to be in. A classic, delayed, or potential Judas Swing protraction profile. Once I have that information and I understand my clear draw on liquidity, i.e. my higher time frame bias, I have a really good chance of being on side and aligned with the distribution of that daily candle. Okay, so that's all for me today. Thank you again very much to T-Trades for having me on the channel. It's been an absolute pleasure. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thanks. Yeah, thank you for joining us. I hope everyone found that helpful. If you do want to learn more from AFYZ, I will have his social links in the description below. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I hope you have a great rest of your day and see you guys next time.